Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. After getting a general overview and a bit in depth details on pharmaceutical solutions, we move to another important liquid dosage form that is, suspensions. Well, Pharmaceutical suspensions are commonly referred to as dispersions in which the API is dispersed in the vehicle. The API might also be termed the internal phase or the discontinuous phase. And you might also come across materials that give the vehicle the term of external phase or the continuous phase. But why do we use pharmaceutical suspensions? Well, the very first reason is, if all solubilization techniques fail, pharmaceutical suspensions resemble a choice to consider when delivering the API with low, usually aqueous solubility. We said aqueous because the most widely used solvent is water. Another thing for which suspensions are largely used is to mask the unpleasant taste. We've mentioned the why for this before and I will put the link to that video in the description box for you. Suspensions can also impart control release properties and this is commonly seen in intramuscular injections and this is a topic that we will deal with later. But it's worth mentioning here that yes, pharmaceutical suspensions are administered via different routes, yet mostly they are encountered with the oral and parenteral ones. Now back to the advantages of pharmaceutical suspensions. Well, the ones mentioned earlier are kind of unique to suspensions, but all the rest can be generalized to all liquid dosage forms and we've already mentioned many of them in the first video on solutions. Things like convenience to certain age groups like pediatrics and geriatrics and also to patients having difficulty swallowing is a cool plus added to the liquid dosage forms. I will put the link to that video in the description box for you as well. Now moving to the cons of pharmaceutical suspensions. Well, the disadvantages of pharmaceutical suspensions are mainly stemming from an inherent property in them, which is they are physically unstable. Thus, skill is needed to ensure that the formulation is good looking. We don't want any instability that would make the consumer question the suspension from how it looks. And this is something that we are going to deal with in much greater details in the upcoming video. And also we do need that skill to ensure that the formulation would remain stable and effective till its expiration. Again, these are the disadvantages related to suspensions, yet what applies generally to liquid dosage foams applies to suspensions. And for that again, please refer to the first solution video. With this, we reach the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we will discuss some principles related to the physical stability of pharmaceutical suspensions. Here is a recap of what has been said. You can take a screenshot and look at it later. And we will be so happy to hear from you in the comments. And as always, stay fabulous wherever you are.